Hi, it's Luke from Delphi Technologies. In today's how-to video, we will be looking into the myth that brake discs can be supplied warped and detail the underlying issues that can lead to disc thickness variation, or DTV, and how to measure DTV and carry out a disc runout check. We're going to have a look at exactly what disc thickness variation, or DTV, is, why it's a problem, and what might cause it. So, what is disc thickness variation? The front face of a brake disc should be perfectly flat. Okay, nothing is perfect, but within a very tight tolerance, it should be flat. The rear face of the disc should also be flat and perfectly parallel to the front face. This allows the brake disc to run straight and true when pressure is applied evenly to both sides by the pads and caliper. If you were to measure different areas around the faces of this disc and they measured differently in thickness, that would be DTV. This is a brand new Delphi brake disc. If I measure the thickness of this disc using a vernier caliper, face to face, the reading is 25 millimeters. I can also find out what this value should be from the manufacturer's technical data. In this instance, it matches perfectly. To accurately work out the DTV for the disc, I need to take several measurements. I've marked this disc to illustrate the point, but you could just use a paint pen or a marker to remind you of where you started. I've checked this disc thickness in six places, and the results were within 0.01 millimeter of each other. This value is the disc thickness variation the difference between the highest and lowest measurements. Manufacturers state acceptable tolerances for this, and it will vary depending on the application of the vehicle and the manufacturer. A higher value of variation may cause what is commonly misdiagnosed as a warped disc. Before we go any further, let's just draw a distinction between DTV and runout. To establish whether a disc has run out, you must use a dial gauge to determine whether the face of the disc is running true against a fixed point on the vehicle. To feel the effects of disc runout, only a very slight indication on the dial gauge would need to be present. This can cause the common symptoms of brake or steering shudder, a pulsing brake pedal, and uneven wear on brake pads. Let's cover how to carry out a disc runout check and show how it differs to DTV. This is the same new disc that we checked earlier for DTV, with the markings removed. This is a quick check and should be a first port of call when looking into the symptoms of braking vibration. I've mounted the dial gauge on a solid fixed point on the suspension and moved the dial gauge into position against the face of the disc. As I rotate it, you can see the dial gauge showing the change in position of the surface. You can see here that there is a high point. Now, we know that the disc has the same thickness the whole way around as we checked it previously. So, is this disc warped straight out of the box? No. You can see here that there's a small piece of tape on the hub behind the disc. This is there to highlight the importance of ensuring that your hubs are cleaned as much as possible before fitting new pads and discs. If your hubs are already clean, it may be worth then looking into whether your bearings or hub could be faulty. DTV and runout go hand in hand. DTV can cause runout and vice versa. So make sure to remember the differences when diagnosing your braking faults and to consider the importance of cleaning hubs and braking components when fitting new pads and discs. So that's it for disc thickness variation and runout. Thanks for watching today. For more how to's and support, follow us on social media or visit our Masters of Motion online hub. And if you'd like to continue your learning further, check out our range of expert led courses at the Delphi Training Academy. See you next time.